Tesla avoided Ford's electric F-150's battery problem and justifies its Roadrunner project. In this report, with the help of Torque News Tesla reporter Paul Foss, we're going to uh, go over a bit of Tesla's history to give context to the news that a legal dispute between the South Korean giant LG and SK Innovation could seriously impact Ford's plans to produce an all-electric pickup electric F-150 in 2022. Then Paul goes on to explain how Tesla avoided this same problem. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Paul Foss, uh, a Tesla uh, reporter at TorqueNews.com, has this report saying he'll go over a bit of Tesla history to give context to the news. He says Elon Musk was an early believer in electric vehicles before just about anyone else. Other people thought electric vehicles were a good idea to save the environment, but 20 years ago they were very impractical. You could either make a glorified golf cart for about $10,000 that wouldn't go far or fast or even have air conditioning or windows or you could spend over $100,000 to build a custom car that, be, that would go fast but still be impractical since there was no charging network. Elon Musk had made millions of dollars on PayPal and other ventures and he decided to risk it all on Tesla and SpaceX. He invested money in Tesla. He didn't start the company but was an early investor because although he thought the company would likely fail, he felt it was so important to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy and he had to try anyway despite the long odds. He added his money and considerable talent at the perfect time. The computer laptop industry had funded the development of lithium-ion batteries that were far better than the other technologies used for the last 100 years, lead acid primarily. The cell phone smartphone industry would provide further volume to help lower costs. Elon's vision was that electric cars would be not just competitive, but superior as two key trends played out. The first key trend was that as the volume of batteries produced greatly increased, the costs would drop dramatically. This has played out exactly as, the anticipated, as he anticipated with costs of batteries falling 87% over the last decade. The second key factor is that the electric motor is far more efficient than the gas or diesel engine, which wastes about 75% of the fuel on generated unwanted heat, noise and vibration. Tesla recognized as early as 2013 that battery supply would be insufficient to support large-scale production of electric vehicles. Sadly, at that time, Tesla didn't have the money to build its own batteries, so Tesla made a deal with the leading battery supplier, Panasonic, to build the largest battery factory in the world. Its goal was to make enough batteries for Tesla's aggressive plans and to make more batteries than the rest of the world's factories combined. It was widely criticized as a bondagal just to get subsidies. It was thought there would never be enough demand for electric vehicles to utilize its massive capacity. It's been a huge success for Tesla, although less so for Panasonic. As Tesla has quickly expanded car production in China this year, it has made agreements to purchase batteries from China battery giant Cattle and South Korean giant LG Chem. In addition, Tesla has signed a new long-term deal with the Japanese giant Panasonic. Not content, to, not content to having contracts with the three biggest battery manufacturers in the world, speculation is rampant that Tesla has already started to produce its own batteries 
at the Kedo Road facility near its giant Fremont factory project codenamed Roadrunner. So the issue that Ford has is Ford didn't see electric vehicles as important in their future 20 years ago. So they haven't realized until very recently that regardless of regulations and incentives, electric cars and trucks are going to be superior in every meaningful way, including cost in a few years and the industry will be making a huge transition not unlike the transition from film to digital photos in that industry that caused the bankruptcy of kodak in 2020 in 2012. do you guys remember kodak ford um, and volkswagen have contracted the SK Innovation last year to supply the batteries for their 2020 for Ford's 2020 electric F-150 pickup truck. LG Chem has filed a lawsuit seeking to bar SK Innovation from building or importing components to make the battery cells. Can Ford just switch suppliers? Well, if they plan to just make a token number of trucks like 10,000 a year, I'm sure they can. But since each manufacturer has different specs, they would probably need to deal to product to adjust the design. Our fellow writer at Torque News, Jimmy Dinsmore, has written earlier this year that Tesla is no threat to the Ford 100 F-150 primarily because Tesla doesn't have the manufacturing capacity to build many trucks. Those that have followed the shockingly fast progress at the Austin, uh, Texas, Austin Giga Terra factory being built to make cyber trucks and model threes and Ys realize the tablets are quickly turning. Tables are quickly turning. Tesla is preparing to have far more battery capacity than Ford and will quickly increase its vehicle production capacity from about 500,000 this year to about 2 million vehicles in 2022. It is still an open question if Ford's famously loyal individual customers will buy the shockingly different Tesla Cybertruck, even if its capabilities are vastly superior. But business customers will be forced to investigate the product since its dramatically lower cost will make them uncompetitive if they don't transition to the new technology as fast as their competitors do. Ford hoped to offer a great electric pickup without Tesla's wild styling to stem the flow to business customers eager to cut fuel and maintenance costs. The legal battle between SK Innovation and LG may endanger Ford's plans and leave them without any defense to the Tesla's Cybertruck advance. Well, let me know what you think about this strategy. What do you think about Ford F-150 Electric's future and this legal battle? I think that Ford may, um, this uh, some type of solution will come, but it also shows what the problems may be, the shortage of batteries, and how Tesla was wise to envision this beforehand and build its own Kedo Road facility, codenamed uh, code uh, Roadrunner, to produce its own batteries, about which we're going to hopefully hear more at the battery day on September 22nd. Thanks for listening and watching, friends. Have a wonderful rest of the day. This is Armin Harayan with Paul Foss from Torque News Tesla Reporter. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell if you want daily Tesla news, and I'll see you in our next report. God bless you and take good care of each other. See you soon and peace be with all of you.